Welcome to another independent review of one of the best new construction condos on Miami Beach. I'm standing here with Philip Freeman, who is the direct sales director, Correct. head of sales for the project. And what we do every time, just for those who may not have seen one of our 40 different new construction condo project videos, is we give an independent review of the project and we get very granular about what we like as the best lines that work best for investment and for end use. So without further ado, let's get into it. Outstanding. Welcome. Th Thank you. Thank uh, you very yeah. much. Thank you. No, welcome home. What I love to say is we've got, you know, the finest, newest property in all of Miami Beach. 73 residences and we built them as homes, vertically integrated into, into a building. And we felt that from 2,100 square feet to over 6,000 square feet of inside living space, forget the terraces because they're yep. very generous. Um, we felt that this was something that's very special. And you actually, in our earlier conversation, hit the nail on the head. This is a beachfront home. We're standing here next to the model to illustrate exactly what we like on the lines and explain the projects in a little bit more detail. If you're looking for a new construction on Miami Beach or if you're looking at a new construction anywhere in South Florida, Paragon is delivered by one of the finest and most renowned developers in the country. And this is a 73 unit project. Right. OMA are the, the architects behind it, which if you yeah. don't know, it's Rem Coolhouse, who's also a mastermind behind an incredible project, which was also in Coconut Grove, which is Park Grove. And that is an extremely successful project that I've been selling very well. And this is at that standard. Now, what's interesting is that project appreciated tremendously. And again, we can flash up and historically show how that moved. Why? because it delivered homes for primary residents and large units. And that's exactly what we have here. Correct. Entry level is starting around 4 million, a little over 4 million. Correct, 2,100 square feet. 2,100, which is very, for a two bedroom, yep. that is massive. Typically, if you look for a two bedroom, again, as we go up the beach, using a good example like 87 Park, their two bedrooms around 1,600 square feet. So this is 25% more. And then the units go all the way up to... Well, but that's sold, of penthouse. course. <laughs> Aptly coming yeah. to that point, congratulations. Thank you. The Thank highest you. dollar per square foot ever sold for a project in South Florida, a whopping $7,800 a square foot. Correct. Staggering. That unit was, how big was that unit? 5,600 square feet with 6,500 square feet of terrace with a 35 foot long swimming pool. So let's get a little bit more specific. Let's go into what we think right now could be the best deal in the building for those who are looking for a primary residence. And that is the 06 lines. The building, as you understand, is a series of elaborate triangles, diamonds, connected yep. together. The 06 line, I particularly was interested in this because it's a big cube. Correct. It's not sort of like pieced together. The wonderful thing about it is inside is 3,800 square feet of living space. Four yeah. bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms. But the outside space is just as spectacular because you've got 2,200 square feet of outside living space, wow. 10 to 12 foot deep terraces with curtain glass completely wrapping around and views as because of the position of the building and the way Rem Coolhouse and the OMA designed it, you're 45 degree angles out to the ocean. And yep. even on the west view, you get an ocean view, and then you get that stunning downtown Miami. That's a really, really good point. Thank you for raising that, Philip. Because, so with terraces down in South Florida, we spend a lot of time outside on our terrace. That's why if you actually look at houses, we use adjusted square footage for valuing homes. Why? Because outside terrace is valuable. We often use it as living space, dining, seating, entertaining. And 2,200 square feet for an exterior terrace is really significant. But what really makes it interesting and significant is the fact the location of the building not only affords you those ocean views, which you can get from this section over here, looking out to the water, which would be in where my hand is, but behind the location of the building is located at 5333 Collins Avenue. And to the west of you, you have a large intercoastal body of Correct. water. And on the other side, it's Pine Tree Drive. So unlike some other areas of, of Miami Beach and areas, uh, whether it's Ball Harbor or Miami Beach or South of or South Beach, often to the west of, of a lot of beachfront buildings, you have other low level buildings. And most importantly, you've got a lot of multifamily and, and things that are not what you call high caliber. 
That really isn't a problem for this project. So you pull up to the entrance of the building, incredible private entrance. The west views are staggering. You've got boats. We own this land. This can never be built upon. Yeah. So uh, the view corridor, as you're talking about, not only do you get from even our fourth floor residence, yep. which is 60 feet in the air because of higher ceilings, yes. higher elevation, um, your views are downtown. They are Biscayne Bay. They are Pine Tree Drive and North Bay Road and LaGorse Country Club in the middle. So you've got these two yep. two story homes that don't affect your view no matter yep. where you are in this 06 yep. line. And the, the, the west view, interesting, so again, we'll flash up on the screen. When I traded an 02, 06 combination at 87 Park, which actually traded for $21 million middle of last year, 2022, and again, the market's moved since then, actually moved by 20%, statistically speaking. That had the master, we positioned the master on the back of the unit. Why? Because the, the view to the east, the ocean view is it's beautiful in the day, but at night, it's black. There's nothing to look at. Now, we fortunately for Miami have a staggeringly pretty skyline. I mean, most people yeah. can argue that Miami has one of the most beautiful skylines of any city in the world. And when you're on the west side, you see the twinkly lights of the beach, of downtown and of that area at the right elevation. This unit coming in and you're all wondering, okay, David, get to the point, what's this gonna cost me? The, the prices are starting currently right now, so October 23. $10,250,000 for the fifth floor. Which is coming in at about- $2,500 a foot. $2,500. So let me put that into perspective. I'm gonna flash up on the screen what units sell for on Miami Beach, not in brand new buildings right now, because again, they're not physically in the ground, so there's no resales. And if you look, you'll see that the resale units on Miami Beach will trade somewhere between $3,500 a square foot up to the top end at the Four Seasons, which is around $6,000 a square foot. That is a massive difference from where we are. So if you look at this and consider what this building is going to be worth when it's actually in the ground and you walk into it, you can start to understand how there's gonna be some good appreciation on this particular line. Of course, seeing both views and appreciating this is really a house in the sky. And what's very interesting with us, which is a little different than other projects, we're letting our buyers make this their home. They yep. choose their flooring, wood, stone, or porcelain. They will let them choose their kitchen colors, whether it's the walnut or a light oak. And then also we're giving them a budget for closets. So they get to finalize and create their home as their residence, not a yep. developer saying, yep. oh, I'm only gonna build this kitchen, I'm only gonna put this flooring in, and this is yours. Let alone a lot of developers don't even give flooring. Yes. Yeah, the actual quality of the finish on the, uh, uh, from the developer is a very high standard. If you look at the original build-outs that were happening five, seven years ago, it was actually quite different. The, the bar's been raised, uh, and quite understandably so, because the quality and the expectations of the new buyers coming in from around the country and around the world is uh, to a whole new standard. It's interesting to see that if I compare back to buildings built in 2015, 16, 17, that you know, we had units that we would have to rip off the doors, we would have to put in flooring, we even weren't happy with the bathrooms and would change out the bathrooms. I don't think uh, it would be uh, unfair to say that the finishes of this building will be more than satisfactory for any buyer coming in, no matter what their expectation, no matter what their level, because they are extremely, extremely well done. There's a few points I'm gonna raise as well, just so you have a full rounded sense of this project. Um, the project has an incredible restaurant at the front We're from a two-star Michelin chef. Out of New York. Best out of street. New York, yeah. Sean Hergett. Okay, so he is well known because of the building that he was uh, chef out of. So he uh, currently runs the 432 Park residences, all the food and beverage there for the residences. And we chose him for that reason, because he knows the discerning flavors and styles of what buyers want and what residents want. But we wanted to deliver something that is unlike anything else, because when you go to a hotel or you go to a Four Seasons, you're with everyone else. Here, you're only with your 73 neighbors. Well, 72, because you're one as well. Yeah. And that restaurant is private to you and your friends and your family and your neighbors. Yeah. And security is one of those elements that's really been brought to the forefront of this project. I've noticed, and again, this just observation, 
A lot of the buildings in Miami, you go up and you can go to the, you know, just drive up to the building. It's open, there's no gates or anything like that. There's a few buildings that have security gates, but this is one of those buildings that has that high level of security. It's raised off at the beach, so there's more privacy at the front, on the beach front, which is not so typical because a lot of buildings, you can literally look from the pool deck straight out to the sand, and you can look at the sand and the sand can look back at you if someone's standing on it. So there's maybe a bit more privacy there. There's 13 foot walls that are obviously flat the side of the building so again more privacy there and this private entrance understandably that's why if you can consider the profile of this buyer privacy is going to be an important element I won't say more than that you can read between the lines and understand the type of profile of buyers that will be in the building NDAs are signed and those won't be disclosed but if you want a high level high privacy high security building that's a very strong reason to consider this project and finally the way it was actually built and again, I've run podcasts considering and talking about, you know, the sea level rising and flooding and the impact of storms. This building was built actually with that in mind. It literally has architecturally almost like this bathtub casing underneath it. And it's, it's a complicated thing to really explain, but suffice it to say, because of its resistance against storms and hurricanes and it's designed to be built at a higher grade, it means that insurance and other things which do affect properties in South Florida will be less of an impact than say some of the older buildings that we'll experience. And the HOA, which is you know a re a, an element of consideration when you buy is, is coming in at $2.35. Okay, and that's actually considers res reserves as well. 100%. So with the new reserve fund that's gotta be written in every building starting January of 2025, we're telling every, all of our buyers from now. Yep. Right now, this is what it is. It includes reserves. Yep. It includes the restaurant and all the staffing. It doesn't include food. That's obviously an a la carte thing. Awesome. Um, but you know, to your point about the, the level of security and the privacy, it's a very important thing because when we built everything up to 13 feet above sea level, we also are the last building in Miami Beach to have a, have a sea wall. Yeah. So that's an important piece as well, which gives that privacy, like you were talking about from the sand, looking back, nobody can see us, we can see out to the ocean, which is very private and very special. Thank you. So this gives you a bit of a view, a bit of an understanding of the project. I personally, I really like this project. I really do. And, and again, I try to remain unbiased. We call ourselves the Rob Report of Real Estate in South Florida. We are interviewing independently every new condo project from, I guess we call it Pinecrest to Palm Beach. And there's many of them to choose from. What you want is to truly understand the realities of the project, the true aspects. Understand, will they deliver what they say they're gonna deliver? And how functional will it be? And when you walk into it, will you get what you think you're going to get? The project developers have a track record. They've proven that. The project itself has some great unique architectural features. It has some very functional features as well. This building, the Paragon, is standing not on a luxury brand name, but it is standing on top of a luxury developer and a luxury architect and a very, very high level. It's impossible, and I'll say this and I've said it before, it's impossible to deliver a very, very high level quality A++ building at scale, 200, 300, 400 units. It's only possible to do that when you have 72 neighbors. There's a lot more detail on the project. There's a lot more to discuss. So please, as always, pick up the phone. I've been independently analyzing new condo construction in South Florida for 15 years. We dive deep, we understand the numbers, and if anything, I can give you some good statistics on the market to help you go from here to here. Thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned and look forward to another David Siddons Group video coming soon.